Hey, what's happening folks? Hope you guys are well today. Today's video is going to be focused on the platform TradingView. TradingView does a lot of work to constantly update their platform and I want to make a video talking about the various keyboard shortcuts in this charting platform. We're going to go over what I think are the most important keyboard shortcuts that they have on board the platform. Basically, everything is already in. You don't have to program anything yourself. You just have to know which keys to press. This is a normal looking chart in TradingView. So what you're gonna do first of all is you're gonna go into the top left corner and then you're gonna go all the way down here to where it says keyboard shortcuts. Go to keyboard shortcuts, click there, and then you'll get this window that gets brought up and you can see shortcuts for chart indicators, watch lists, and the pine editor, as well as the trading portion of it, okay? So the most important shortcuts we're gonna be concerned about is generally in the chart and in the watch list and indicators and drawing tools, okay? So these three pretty much. So I've written down a number of these hotkeys, so we're gonna go through them one by one here. Let's start by talking about the shortcuts relating to the chart itself. So the first one is going to be, how do you change tickers on your chart, very simple. You can just start typing letters on your keyboard. So here I've got a regular keyboard and I'm going to start typing now on it. So I'll type and you can see that when I start typing, I will see symbols come up onto the platform. So if I type in a symbol SPY, I can see there and then all I have to do is click on it. Okay, so that's one way of bringing up any new ticker. You can select the financial instrument type as well, stock futures, Forex, CFD, etc. the exchanges that they trade on as well. Another way you can bring up that menu is by hitting the shift button twice. I believe you have to hit it fast. So once, twice, there we go. If you do shift twice, but too slow, it won't bring it up. If you do it quickly, then you're going to see it brings up all of the most important symbols, I guess, to start. So that's interesting because what you can see here is pretty much the most popular symbols on the platform, I imagine. All right, guys, the easy way to change time frames on your trading view chart, you can either start typing numbers. That's one way to do it. So I can just start pressing any number and you're going to see change interval comes up. So if I type 12, it's going to think I'm doing 12 minutes. If I want 12 hours, do 12 and then an H next to it. You can also just type the amount of minutes. So 120 would be 120 minutes, therefore a two hour chart. Another way of bringing up the time frame selector is pressing the comma key on your keyboard. So if you press the comma, there you go, you get change interval, the same old thing. And then you can basically choose whichever time frame you want. One cool thing about TradingView, but this does require you to have one of the paid subscriptions subscriptions to the platform is that you can change to any customizable amount of minutes for your time frame. So if I wanted a say 58 minute time, I can get that, right? And that's what's pretty cool about TradingView is you get these custom time frames. They don't have tick charts on this platform, only time frame oriented charts. Basically that's it. So it's either you start typing numbers or you use the comma key. Your time frames do show up here and then you can basically choose which ones you favor it and they will always appear on the top. So that's how you use your keyboard to change the time frames in trading view. All right, let's keep going here. So to open up your indicators menu, this is going to be the slash key on your keyboard. That one is less useful, but it's still good to know. The slash key will bring up your indicators and strategies menu. And here are the ones that I have favored it, of course. And then you can go into the built-in indicators and public library as well, okay? So slash is the button for that. Okay, so if you use multiple charts in TradingView, so in this case, I'm actually set to a two chart layout, but one of them is being singled out here. If you wanna switch between your charts, you simply hit the button tab, right? So I have two charts here that I normally stretch out on my vertical monitor and if I wanted to single out one of them and then switch to the other one, you would simply press the tab button. So that's quite a useful feature, actually. If you have like four charts or more all in the TradingView platform and you want to easily switch to the next one, you can hit tab every time if you want to do that. That's one way of doing it. Another way, I'll discuss it later, it's just simply how you go through symbols in your watch list using the up and down arrow keys. One important hotkey relating to using multiple charts is when you want to single out a chart, the keyboard shortcut for that is simply holding the button alt and then clicking on one of the charts. So if I want to single out this top one, I'm holding alt and I click on it and there we go. One great feature that TradingView has is that it allows you to go back in time and view price action for other dates. So let's say I go onto this five minute chart here and I want to see price action from a specific date. The hotkey for that is alt G and you're going to see here it's going to bring up a go to specific date menu. So I can click on this calendar right here and then go to whatever date. Let's say I want it to go to July the 1st. Click on the specific time. So let's say you wanted it to be, I don't know, 9 a.m. 
in the morning you click on that let's go and now this is 9 a.m on july the 1st 2020 and i can see the price action that unfolded on this day i'm not sure if this is available on the free version of the platform i'll be honest with you full disclosure some of the features on the trading view platform require you to have a paid membership on the platform next on the list we have the reset chart feature so let's say you messed up your chart and uh, maybe you zoomed in and out, you did something weird, you hit Alt R and it's going to reset your chart back to what you have it set to in your settings. Okay, so Alt R, that's an important hotkey for resetting your chart. There's a few other pointless hotkeys here like inverting the chart, Alt I, not a big fan of that. If you wanna kinda get a kick for what charts look like upside down, fine. Uh, zooming your chart, basically you can use the mouse wheel and it's gonna depend on what you have set in your settings here in the appearance settings. So depending on what you have as your margin settings on top and bottom, um, it's going to basically work with what you have set here. So that that's what I have mine set to, 7% on the top, 17 on the bottom, and then seven bars of margin on the right. You know, you can play with this. It depends on how big your screen is. It depends on how many bars you're showing on the chart as well. Okay, so you use the mouse wheel to zoom. Another way to zoom is holding control and using the mouse wheel. That's gonna be more of a horizontal type of zoom. So if you wanna show more bars that way, and again, once you hit Alt-R, it's going to reset back to the way it was originally, which you have it normally set to. All right, cool. So that pretty much encompasses the chart hotkeys. Let's move on to the indicator and drawings hotkeys. Some of these hotkeys are quite important for using some of the specific tools on the TradingView platform. The first one on the list is the measuring tool. So basically what the measuring tool does is, I'll show you. So you hold shift and then you click on the chart and you can start measuring distances of price movement and percentages. So for example, from that low, to this high, you can see that over 14 days, in this case, 10 bars, the price moved a thousand points up and it was approximately nine and a half percent. So you leave it like that and you can see that it measured that distance for you. I notice a glitch that once you have it selected, actually you just keep clicking on the chart and it's going to constantly create a new measuring tool for you. The way to stop that is just hitting escape. So let's say you wanna measure the distance from this top to the bottom move, you just hit at the top, hold shift, click on the chart all the way down and then boom. 13 and a half percent. There you go. Pretty cool, right? And that's a very easy feature in trading view shift plus click a lot of regular windows keyboard shortcuts work in trading view as well. So copy and paste works well. So for example, if you have some lines in your chart and you want to copy a line and paste it. So for example, if I did control C on that line and now I click over here and I did control V it's going to paste another line. Okay. And if I wanted to get rid of that, it would be the same hotkey, which is control Z. Control Z is undo essentially. So control C, control V, control Z. Those are all like regular windows hotkeys for copy, paste and undo. And I believe there's even one for redo. Anytime you need to delete a certain object, you basically click on it and you can do delete or backspace on your keyboard. That's going to remove the object itself. If you need to remove all drawing tools, there's no hotkey for that, but you go to the right here and click on this garbage can on the left side of the chart right here. I originally created created a macro to get rid of all my drawing tools, but I realized I didn't need that as much because the lines I'm putting on my chart now are a lot more relevant than they used to be. So I don't delete them as often. Okay, so there's one interesting feature in the TradingView platform. It's called the magnet tool. You see it right here on the left side of the chart. So what, what the magnet tool essentially does is whenever you draw a line, it's going to snap the line to the nearest price bar, either the higher or low of the bar, depending on where you go to. You can either keep that on or off. I generally keep it off these days because I realize that the highs and lows of bars are a lot less relevant than people think they are. But one thing that you could do is if you want a line to snap to a certain bar, what you do, let's say, let's say you have a random line and it's not snapped to anything. If you want it to snap to a bar, you hold control, click on the bar, and now you're going to see that wherever you bring it, it's going to snap to either the high or low of a specific bar. So that's me holding control right now. And I am also holding the left mouse button here. And you can see that it's going to snap wherever I want it. So if I want it to snap to this low right here, I just simply leave it there. Now it is snapped to the bottom of that. If I want to undo what I just did, I just do control Z like a normal windows key and that's it. One good hotkey would be to hide all the drawing tools. So sometimes when you're looking at a chart and you're seeing that it's starting to get cluttered with a bunch of lines on your short term chart, what you do to remove that is control plus alt plus the letter H on your chart. So let's try that control plus alt plus the letter H and it hides all my drawing tools. That's a useful hotkey. And also it is on the left side of the chart here 
where you can see that little eyeball hide all drawing tools and there it is right there okay the last few hotkeys for charts are quite important number one would be to draw a horizontal line that's simply alt plus h on your keyboard and basically if you have the magnet tool not selected it's going to create it wherever your cursor is on the chart and then of course once you create these lines you can move them around the chart and then of course right click on them and choose settings if you need to customize the color text coordinates or visibility of those lines and I tend to create different kind of lines for different purposes and change the colors for different purposes you can also add notes to your lines for example create notes to your levels and they're going to show up wherever you have it so I have it set to show up on the right side you can choose it to be in the center as well if you wanted that and again that's up to you completely it's just a convenient feature in TradingView very important actually when it comes to marking in uh, important prices for example so horizontal line alt h trend line would be alt and t what's going to happen when you do this is when you hit alt t watch this over here and you can see alt t makes this selected on automatically okay so when you have that selected when you click on your chart it's going to basically default to drawing a trend line until you actually turn this back to your cursor so I don't think there's a hockey that makes this go back to the cursor so you'd have to do that yourself manually so again hitting alt T is going to simply change this to the trend line and again I don't really use the trend line feature too much as it's more of a visual guide anyways okay there is a hotkey for Fibonacci retracement alt plus F so alt F and then you click on the chart and then you bring it up all right and again it's going to change your selection here on the left if you want to get your cursor back you're going to have to click there to get it back so I'll click there and get it back all right, cool. So that pretty much covers all of the hotkeys in the indicators and drawing tools. Guys, I hope we are learning today. The last thing I want to cover is the shortcuts for the watch list and screener. So basically, in TradingView, it's very easy to switch between tickers. So for example, you set up a watch list of the tickers that you are looking at, basically. So this is one I have set up for basically the stocks I watch on the NASDAQ and the futures contracts. And basically the easiest way to move between them is simply by using the up and down arrow keys on your keyboards. If I hit a down arrow key, it's going to go to the next symbol in my watch list. And I can go up and down these symbols simply by using the up and down arrow key. And that is going to be a much better choice rather than having about 10 12 tabs each with a different ticker on it which i've seen people do in the past and generally having a watch list of tickers is probably a better approach and using those up and down arrow keys so that has been game changing for me now there are hotkeys that are configured for trading in the trading view platform although they're quite simple and i personally haven't tried trading in the trading view platform maybe some of you have if you have an account with a broker that links to trading view um, basically you can trade off this dome right here and you can also trade directly off the chart so there's simple hotkeys for that it's shift b to buy and shift s to sell and basically those would be buy and sell market orders um, to create limit orders and stop orders you have to actually click on this dome right here I'd have to click on the price below the current trading price to create a limit buy order I have to click above the price on the sell side to create a limit sell order and in order to create a stop order you have to hold control and then click on it and it's going to bring up a stop order for that I think that's pretty much what we're limited to in terms of the trading hotkeys on TradingView maybe they'll change that in the future and again I'm not 100% sure if that changes if you link a specific broker to TradingView maybe you get more accessibility in terms of the order executions you get but that's pretty much it so guys I use TradingView as my main charting platform and it pretty much fulfills all my needs in regards to analysis so guys if you appreciate the content feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to the youtube channel i have a channel full of content that you might enjoy so feel free to check out some of those other videos i wish you guys all the best take care bye